depending on a person's level of injury, dressing is one of the first skills I like to look at. And what I'm looking at is, do they have the range of motion and the strength that they need to be able to put clothing on? Um, we, for some people, you know, um, if you think about before a spinal cord injury, when you put your pants on, generally you either are sitting or standing, you lean down and you put your feet in. After a spinal cord injury, when you can't stand, we actually transition that task to being able to do it in bed. Um, and so we have a person, we teach them how to move their legs to be able to get the legs in their pants and how to move in bed to be able to get those pants pulled up. Um, then we look at, you know, can they get socks on? Do they have the dexterity to do that? Um, are they able to get their shoes on and tied? Um, if they have issues with any of these tasks, then we look at um, what equipment could support them. So we'd look at, um, what's called a reacher or a dressing stick um, for the, to help them um, to clamp onto their pants to help them reach their feet to get their feet threaded. Um, we look at something like a sock aid um, where they um, would put the sock on the equipment and use that to get it pulled up. We look at a long shoe horn or elastic shoelaces. The list goes on and on. Um, so generally we're looking, can the person do the task? If not, do we have equipment that can support them in doing so? In terms of being able to get a shirt on, um, I'm looking at does a person, um, uh, you know, do they have the arm motion to be able to get their arms in the shirt? Do they have the shoulder motion to be able to get it over their head? Um, we look at different shirt options. Can someone get a shirt on over their head but um, doesn't have the movement to reach behind their back to get a button-up shirt or a sweatshirt on? We also have equipment for upper body dressing. Um, we have what's called a, a button hook, where if someone can't do buttons and would like to wear button shirts, they, um, we teach them how to use this piece of equipment that makes it easier to button. Um, we have a, a dressing stick that can help them lift a shirt over their head or reach behind their back. So once again, I look at what person, what, excuse me, what skills the person has, um, and if the skills they have can't help them do the task, then what equipment could support them in doing so.